On to some other stories, the Hinduja Group is looking to hike its stake in Indusind Bank after the recent revision in RBI's private bank ownership guidelines, sources have told CNBC TV18. However, the promoters would need RBI's explicit permission to do so, which is yet to be sought. Ritu Singh has been tracking the story and joins in with the details. Ritu? Well, that's right. We understand that the Hindujas are looking to hike their stake in Indusind Bank to up to 26% after the recent revision in RBI guidelines, which allowed promoters to hold up to 26% stake versus 15% earlier. Now, through the promoter entity, which is IIHL Holdings, Hindujas own about 16.51% stake in the bank as of December, with voting shares at 15.16%. There's a few ways of going about increasing their stake to 26% if RBI does give them that crucial nod and we understand they're still in the process of making that application to RBI. One way could be for the promoters to buy shares from the open market but here there is a limitation because the foreign shareholding in private banks is capped at 74% and that figure is already close to 66 to 67% for Indusind Bank so limited headroom there. The other way could be for the bank to issue shares through a QIP or a preference issue but that also we understand is unlikely at this point because uh, Indusind Bank is not looking to raise equity capital in the the near term. So we'd have to see how the promoters go about this, but step one will be securing that all important RBI note for which certain preconditions will also have to be met by the promoters, including uh, you know, freeing up their existing promoter shareholding of any encumbrances, among other conditions. We reached out to Innocent Bank for a comment, but they did not offer one for this story.